Hey guys, this is Justin from the Tree of Woe Show. Um, in the I don't know when this will be posted. So one of the last Q and A's, I got a question from Zaloc C. I think is how you say it, and he pretty much wanted to know my uh, dream WrestleMania card. Alive wrestlers, you know, wrestlers that have passed away can be in there. Anything I wanted, and I thought eh, it's kind of hard to just think of, you know, those off the top of my head during that Q and A video. So I started making separate video and here it is um i tried to do matches that for the most part we haven't seen before there might be a few on here that happened before i can't remember but for the most part i tried to do ones that we haven't seen before this man came back though hashtag great time so yeah let's just jump right into it i did 10 matches uh, i tried to lay out i could have done some Triple threat matches, Fatal 4s, but I just left it to mostly one-on-one -on -one matches except for the one tag team match that kicks off the the card for me. Um, so if, if I left people off, sorry. It's, maybe I don't like them. Maybe I couldn't think of anything for them, but whatever. We would kick off the show with a six-man tag team match. Now, the only reason this match is on the card is because I needed my hero, Randall Keith Orton, on the card, and I couldn't think of what else to do. So I would kick off the show with Randall Keith Orton, Cody Rhodes, and Ted DiBiase, a.k.a. Legacy. You remember them? Our old friend's Legacy. Versus their fathers. Cowboy Bob Orton, the American Dream Dusty Rhodes, and the Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase. This, of course, would go against all things that are right in the world because it'd be very hard to have these three against each other in their primes. But I said, you know what? Fathers versus sons. Legacy versus, you know, the three amigos. I think it'd be a great time. The, the special guest for this match would be Triple H because keeping with the father-son theme, Triple H is the father of all six of these men as he is God. So I would make him be the special guest referee because I didn't want to give him a match on my Dream WrestleMania card. That's just a fact. Um, so there you go. Uh, the one women's match we would get on this card. I had there was some difficult choices here because I said we got to put one women's match on there. So that's obviously you know cut it down to two women that have ever been in wrestlers. But what I ended up deciding on was. China versus Karma. I think that would be, you know, if you had to pick a women's match, that'd probably be the one I would go with. You got China, this intercontinental champion of a woman. Like, she could beat up most men in the world, let's be honest here. And then you got Karma, same situation. You just look at her and you're like, okay, this is a problem. So I thought, hey, of you know, all the women in the world, wrestlers, these are the two I decided on. So I would have China versus Karma on my dream WrestleMania card. Moving on to the big boys, literal big boys. This one, you just have to put it on there. The comparisons, rightfully so or not, the comparisons are always going to be there just based on the size of these two guys. Uh, pretty obvious one, I think, that I'd like to see. Big Show versus Andre the Giant. Like I said, it's just kind of one of those obvious ones. The two giants of wrestling that actually were successful. Like, Andre the Giant versus the Great Kali. Like, that's not going to happen. Big Show was actually successful in WWE. Andre the Giant, you know, like I said, the two giants. They're always going to be, you know, put together in the same sentence just because of how big they are. You know, that's just what it is. Um so I think it'd be it'd be fun to see those two just for the, the the awe factor, if nothing else. Just like those are two really, really, really big guys. So yeah, I think that'd be a great time. I'm not gonna say who I would have win these matches. You didn't ask. If you want to ask, you can ask in the next Q and A, and or ask on this video, and I'll answer it as a Q and A question. Who I would have win these matches. But for now, I'm just gonna lay out the card for you, and you guys can just. Imagine who you want to win so everyone can have a great time. Um, the next match is a match between two dudes that I'm, I honestly can't tell you if they wrestled before. so Because I kind of missed a lot of their little run-ins. Well, I didn't miss one of them, but I definitely missed a lot of one of the other guys. But this is a match that I just 
I thought, you know what? I love both these dudes. Both these dudes could whoop some ass. Brock Lesnar versus Batista. I would be all in on this match. Hopefully it would not end up like how Brock Lesnar versus Goldberg did, where it was like, and it was just ridiculous. I think it'd be, I think it could be a good match. I would enjoy it just because I love both these guys. If you're not a fan of these guys, obviously it could be a little boring for you. But Brock Lesnar, Batista, I think it'd be a great match. This one is one of the ones. Most of these, most of the matches on the card. When I was making it, I was like, okay, they would win, she would win. He would win. He, you know, whatever. This is the one that. Let's okay. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say it was a hard one, but the, I remembered. You guys know how I feel about one of those men. So yeah, I just just a match I'd want to see. I never got to see it. If it happened, let me know. Um, but yeah, I had to throw it on there because we had to get Borky on the card because Bork's my boy. Uh, the next match, I personally do not like at all one of the wrestlers in this match, but I cannot deny his wrestling ability. You can guess which one it is. If you've watched our videos before, you know which guy it is. And because I really like the other guy, so it shouldn't be hard to figure it out. But just for the fact that I think it would draw, and I respect the guy's wrestling ability, and I, it should be a fun match to watch, Kurt Angle versus Bret the Hitman Hart in a submission match. Technical based for days. This this would be a party. I mean, you got the ankle lock, you got the sharpshooter, you got two of the most technical wrestlers of all time. Even if I don't like one of them, Bret Hart. You bitch. But um, yeah, Kurt Angle would win this match. I know I wouldn't say the uh, winners, but in my dream WrestleMania card, Angle would win this match. Sorry, but you had to put it on there. It's one of those ones that's just a party. It'd be a fun match to watch, even if I don't agree with one of the guys. Um, then we move on to the legend versus the guy who likes to emulate the legend and is obviously a big fan. CM Punk versus the Macho Man Randy Savage. I think this would be a great match. You know, Punk's obviously worn the tights. He does the elbow. He does the homage to Macho Man. Macho Man, one of the greatest of all time. Uh, you know, if we could get these two against each other in their primes, talk about... Talk about a great match. This would be highly, highly, highly entertaining. You know, it was, I wanted Punk on here because he's one of my favorite wrestlers. And I was like, who can we put him up against? You know, there was a couple options, but I ended up deciding on Macho Man. One of the alternative alternatives here, because I didn't get Jericho on the card, I would have either made this a triple threat or just go straight out Jericho versus Macho Man. But I couldn't think of anything else for Punk to do. And I really wanted CM Punk on here because he's my boy. So I ended up going with CM Punk versus Macho Man, but I could interchange Jericho in there with him. And I just think it'd be a great match, you know, so that's why it's on there. Um, the next match, there's no way I couldn't get this cat on the card. I don't even care. I just want to see this match because whenever you bring these two guys, oh, who would people, I mean, I think I know who people would cheer for, but it's just like, these two guys, whenever you bring them up, oh, they suck. Oh, oh, they can't wrestle. They just do. Oh, blah, blah. Jonathan Cena versus Bill Goldberg. Give this match to me. Could you imagine the crowd? Are you like people would be so pissed? But hey, I want to see John Cena versus Goldberg at WrestleMania. I don't even care. Um, just oh, I just can't even imagine just how many people. Oh my gosh. What is going on? It would be like Goldberg Nation, just because put up against it's put up against Cena. Everyone's gonna pick the other option, pretty much. So, but I had to get Cena on there. <laughs> I wanted to have Goldberg in a match, and I thought, hey, you guys aren't doing anything. You guys fight each other. Sweet. Um, oh, that's that's one of my favorite ones on here, just because it would be classic. Um, then we move on. Three more matches to go. These are the big three headliners. My boy. No, The Rock is not main eventing my WrestleMania dream card. Shocker, I know. But he is one of the top three uh, matches. The Rock versus Mr. WrestleMania, the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels. A match we never got that to this day hurts my heart. This would be a match. Oof. The Rock and just those two names together. The Rock and Shawn Michaels, two of the biggest names in the wrestling industry ever never had a match these last three guys never had a match actually and just 
ooh, the last three matches, I mean, haven't had a match against each other. And I think they're, especially in their primes, these would be prime time matches. But, you know, The Rock has a lot, all his supporters, all the Michael supporters. The crowd would be going crazy for this match. It would be an incredible match to watch. Rock versus Shawn Michaels on this card. Second to last match. The first one's probably going to be obvious, but hey, you never know. The second one features this man, The Undertaker. Um, I ended up going with Undertaker versus Sting. It's just one of those matches. Crow Sting, the two dark, dark guys, you know, they were on polar ends of the wrestling universe. You always figured maybe someday they'll meet up because it just seemed like they were their company's version of that character. You had The Undertaker. This dark, gothic kind of guy. Sting was the same sort of thing coming from the ra up in the rafters. Crow Sting. Undertaker versus Sting, one of those matches you always hear talked about. I would love to see it. That's why it's on my dream card. Let's get to the main event. Two of the biggest... I don't even know if I need to say of the... The two biggest stars in the wrestling industry's history. Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Hulk Hogan. This match, whoo, popped a mile I'm sweating, whoo, trying to James, I'll go with everything, but this, it has to be the main event, Stone Cold Steve Austin and Hulk Hogan, like, these guys are what you think of when you think of professional wrestling, like, come on, the two biggest stars of all time, no better way to close out uh, WrestleMania, and no better way to cl close out a dream WrestleMania with all these matches, this match would clearly be ahead of them all. I mean, and that's how you know it's such a great match. If it was, if it main evented any WrestleMania, it would be the biggest main event of all time. But even when you look at it on a card like this, where it's a fantasy one, it's never going to happen, obviously. You look at these matches. Stone Cold versus Hogan in their primes. Could you imagine the crowd? Come on. Like, even compared to the other matches on here, this match is miles ahead of all of them. So, yeah, just wanted to answer... The man's question, you know what I mean? He's, he's had to do it. So let me know, uh, you know, subscribe to this channel first, Tree of Woe Show. Subscribe down below, uh, like this video. But then also in the comments below, you can do a number of things. You can leave me your dream WrestleMania match, some of your matches. What would you tweak on mine? Totally write your own down there. And then just for fun, if it was, if, if my card, I just actually, you know, if the card I said actually happened, who would you guys want to win each match? Just leave his comments down below. I'm interested to see who you guys would have win these matches because there's some of them. I would have a tough, a tough time saying who would win these matches. So let me know down below who you would have win some of these matches. You don't have to say all of them, but if there's some that stick out to you, let me know. But yeah, there you go. Zaylock Z, I think is how you say it. That is my Dream WrestleMania card. I will see you guys later. Undertaker.